Yes, we're ready with the toss. The two captains are out here, including the match referee, Ellen Hurst. I think Sangakar has got the coin. Head is the call from Pakistani captain. And it's a head? It's come down as a head, Pakistan then. Yunus, what have you decided? Uh, we will bowl first. Looks a pretty decent batting track, this. Yes, yeah, uh, it looked uh, very decent, uh, but uh, the past record, you know, uh, who is bowling first, they have, they have uh, something 75% uh, winning the team a game. So I will go the, for, for, batting, uh, for ball first. Some fresh, fresh faces in the squad, uh, that must gladden your heart because it uh, ups the tempo in the dressing room. Yes, always, you know, when you have fresh legs and uh, uh, youngster like uh, Umar Akmal and the, uh, Fawad Alam in the team, so you have always uh, feel, feel very well because uh, if, you, if you fall down, you know, uh, suddenly the youngster is there for you. So I think this will be good, the, the, uh, good series for us. You're not playing Umar Akmal, any particular reason? Yeah, he's too young now, so I will give some more chance to, you know, he be more mature and then whenever you play, we will play regularly in, in my team. All the best. Thank you. Kumar batting first on this track, which looks a pretty decent one, you'd be pretty happy. Uh, yeah, it, you know, you never know with this wicket what it'll do. Uh, the proof of the pudding's in the taste, so you've got to play and see what it does. We've played years and years and years, you, no one can still read what the wicket is and you know, prepare it the way uh, it, it, it probably should be. But uh, it's not a bad thing to, to bat first, put a total on the board and then put pressure on the opposition. And you've got uh, the players to do that for you. Uh, Malenga is back, uh, Sanath is back, Murli is back, you'd be pretty happy. Yeah, we've got, you know, quite a tight unit. Um, you know, Samar Avira coming in after a very long time to play his, uh, play his one-day cricket. Uh, it was a tough call between him and Kandambi. Kandambi is a, a magnificent player, but uh, uh, at this time it's good to see what Sami can do because Kandambi's place is in no doubt. Is it difficult to tune yourself to a one-day cricket after a grueling three-test series? Well, uh, everyone batted positively, and in some of the some of the matches, it is almost like one-day cricket. So uh, I think the guys are, are raring to go, uh, um, and they'll probably have a good day and enjoy it. Um, I think that's the key, enjoying it and doing the basics right. Have a good day. Thank you. So the news from the centre out here is that Pakistan have won the toss and elected to bowl first. Variables around the place with this first one day. The track in uh, Dambulla, we're not exactly sure how it's going to play, but uh, you can expect that those batsmen, those two batsmen, are going to be a little bit sedate initially to make sure the wickets don't fall in the first ten. That's been the trend with all the one days that we've played here. A bit of a breeze, as Rami said. That will certainly help the players. It is a warm day and very overcast at this stage, so there might be some movement as well through the air for the new ball it's another stunning setup we are at the rangiri which is called uh, in uh, local singles golden rock dambula international cricket stadium opal taranga has been asked to open the innings for sri lanka he didn't play or feature in the test series and his partner is also someone who is renowned for big hitting who is a left-hander a genius when it comes to one day cricket son of jesuria 40 years young and still cracking them big. This is uh, indeed a pretty sight. There's a river next to that thick foliage of uh, tall, big trees. Crowds, I'm sure, will come to watch this one international. Mohammad Amir is on his way. Balls on the pads and gives away at least one. Good morning, Ranil. This should be a good contest. Good morning, Ramiz. And a good day to all our viewers around the world. Yes, indeed. It's uh, going to be a good contest. A lot of expectations. Mohamed Amir played three test matches, made his debut in the first test in goal. And here he is making his debut in one day cricket. Was very impressive in the test series. Impressive before in the T20 tournament, the World Cup. That was uh, played in England, so here's uh, another opportunity. That's a good ball to bowl to Sanat Jaisuri, and never easy to bowl against uh, a mighty left-hander. Pakistan were just a little untied in the Test Series. Umar Gul especially gave away a lot of no balls, but this is a different ball game. They need to be on target, and this really was well bowled. Squaring him up. Leg side delivery has been pushed away for one, so both openers off the mark. The crowds are coming in rather quickly now that the game has started. Normally you'd have a day nighter here at Dambula, but I think. Uh, 
because of the quality of lights they've gone on to have it as uh, just a day one there which makes a lot of sense because there's a sea change when the teams go out and field in the night under the lights conditions change dramatically oh that's a beautiful delivery almost got the outside edge this is where he wants to be yes that did go would have hit a little bit of that uh, green area there are green areas and there are dry areas where it's not so green that would have uh, hit a bit of the green and uh, moved away good seam position and the ball hitting the seam and going away another good one keeping him on the back foot there's a lot of green on the pitch and you were out there Ranil I think the bowlers should get some help early help out of this track a nice spread of green this is a different grass also to tell you the truth Ramiz there's uh, more greenness on this than any one of the three test pitches which is uh, quite strange you expect one day pitches to have uh, less greenness test pitches to have a little bit more but here they have kept some grass I think one of the reasons gone for the appeal maybe just a little high maybe going down the leg side Ashoka De Silva says not out it's two without a wicket leg side and taken or dropped it was certainly a catch Kamran Akmal had to go to his leg side Shahid Afridi is not impressed this was uh, the start that Yunus Khan was hoping to get Sanat Jasuria what a costly miss this by Kamran Akmal certainly was a woody sound that's put away over mid wicket not connected uh, to his liking but he'll pick up runs three runs is looking for the fourth one Mohammad Yusuf doesn't have a strong arm so four runs taken by Sanat Jaisuria five gone 15 without a wicket nicely played into the gap that's going to run away best shot so far for the morning short and he made the most of it first boundary of the day Taranga brilliant through the offside that cut shot made a lovely sound whacked it and the fielder had no chance at point half trigger from Abdul Razak he doesn't have the pace to bowl that length but the opportunity was cashed in by Taranga that's gone up high in the air who's called for it it's Razak will he take it and he drops it <laughs> and hit and he has hit the ground himself I think he was just a little bit confused he asked for the keeper then he stopped him Yunus Khan can't believe it this really was pretty poor from Abdul Razak Jasuria had one let off earlier down the leg side here trying to flick it hits it hard and high in there the leading edge it was quite underneath it Abdul Razak but the ball hit the fingers and then uh, it's popped out Kamran Akmal wasn't uh, that far away from him but uh, it must have been a little bit of nervousness that can creep in when you're waiting for the ball in there and he caved in in the end lucky for Sri Lanka Sanaj has uh, now been missed twice by Pakistan and there's a half a chance of a run out as well 20 without a wicket good shot very nicely played our field is uh, it's going to provide a bit of a teaser this just went and went and went and that's gone for four goodness me I thought he was going to track that through tag it quite easily did in the end good timing the square itself is higher than the the other part of the ground so once the ball just gets in front of you it wasn't really timed that beautifully he wasn't really too happy and Yunus Khan I thought he just he was just jogging in front of him. he wasn't really putting any effort in it but once the ball just get into the last bit sort of uh, 10 to 15 yards it just raced not the best of the timing I would say but still got four runs boundary off the first ball the over in the air 
he often gets dismissed in this region and it's happened again so there you go son of Jay Saria is very annoyed with himself as you can understand Umar Gol has struck early and that's a huge wicket for Pakistan Muhammad Amir the youngster is the man that snaffled it well how many times you see son of Jay getting out in this fashion this was wide and uh, I don't think he wanted to hit it there the ball came a little slow for his liking that's why it just went straight to Muhammad Ahmed and he made no mistake uh, Pakistanis already made enough mistakes uh, when it comes to Sanaj Jaisuriya. Picked up the first wicket. Not happy, Sanaj Jaisuriya. The first wicket for Pakistan. Jaisuriya gone for 15. Is 31 for one. Whipped away leg side. Going to get more than one. Might even think for a third. Yes, and they come back for a third. So there's a couple of uh, costly runs. Abdul Razak was the uh, offender. Well, he's having a horrible time. He cannot let these one go. I mean, this is just a schoolboy thing. Come on. I would imagine in these conditions at the moment where it's tough for the batting side, I would imagine Sri Lanka will be talking about wickets in hand at the end. So you can expect uh, Kumar Sangakara to be a little bit sedate initially. He'll take his time, get the pace of the track. Mahela J. Warden will do the same. Obviously, they've also got a, uh, a batting power play at some stage in the innings. There might be a little bit of juggling of the uh, of the batting order. It might be like an old-fashioned one day of this. And a bit of good running as well to toss in. Hasn't carried. Got off the edge, though. This pitch has got a little bit of pace in it and the odd one just keeping low this one actually kept a little low it didn't really carry although he, he went for it he just he just given it everything at it he should have carried if uh, you know normal bounce because it was just kept a little low that's why it just made it just died to the fielder in the slips didn't miss by much though miss by much straight to uh, mid on no run to round off the over 10 gone now 38 for one That's a good shot. Now watch this ball go. It's running away quite nicely in that region. You would have thought it would have only gone about two-thirds of the way, but no, a little bit of tag teamwork. And three the result. I think they figured it out. What they saw what happened to Yunus Khan earlier when, when it went for four. They just figured out that uh, you have to be a little quicker behind that ball. This was very nicely timed, very steady at the crease. Kumar Sangakaram doesn't really look to hit it too hard. It's way too early. Good teamwork. Three more runs. Just the single. Held back in uh, in pace from Umar Gol. Let me pick your brains here, Waka. Okay, so uh, Umar Gol hasn't had a good tour so far in the test matches. Okay? Once or twice glimpses of form. Had a great tour of the UK. What would be your advice now? He's picked up a wicket in his first over. What would your advice be to him right now? Well, look, he had a bad test series. He didn't really have the best of it. So I think uh, it's important that the management, my advice is to management first to, to just keep an eye on him. Is he just overbold? Or you've got to really keep an eye on him because this is a very humid conditions. Don't burn him out. Would you bowl line and length or just try and settle in or, or try the odd short? Delivery. Well, I might have to come back to that actually in the next over. It's a quick single to round it off. So good running again. 11 gone. 44 for one. Yeah! They've gone up, and so is the finger. So there's a wicket. Abdul Razak is delighted with that. They've picked up a couple of wickets now, have Pakistan. So they've got Sri Lanka on the back foot here. It is not easy for batting. They've done the business. It could have been worse, but at least they've got two. Well, have gone out of the misery. He was struggling against uh, Abdul Razak. That's clear edge, no doubt about that. He was going away from him, and uh, he's just been beaten quite a few times. And on that occasion, a uh, little faint edge did the job. And Razak is uh, up for it, very jubilant. Ranga gone for 17, is 45 for two. Good shot, beautifully played, straight through the line. That's running away for a boundary. 
Nice way to round off the over for Sri Lanka. 50 up as well, 53 for two. Again, another quick single. And they're looking to naturally break up the field, isn't it? And then maybe put the bowlers off their length with these quick singles. They understand each other's role so well in, in the team. They played uh, plenty of innings together as a unit. This is what Yunus Khan uh, does when he comes out to bat. He picks up those ones and twos to build a strong platform. And this is what this pair is trying to achieve. 12 from 12 balls. We haven't seen a lot of shots being hit. Just been sensible stuff from these two. Promise, let's not forget that they've got a 600 plus partnership in test cricket going. So they got to know each other quite well and they need to understand each other well. They've been playing cricket for a very long time. I mean, together, Sangakara and Jayawad are not just at the international scene. I mean, goes back to the school days, the age group levels, under 12. So they know each other quite well. And they respect each other's art also. Into the over, 57 for two. I think you're spot on when you talk about the respect they have for each other and Mahela Jayawardena was such a good captain and Kumar Sangakara was his able deputy and there was no doubt that once Jayawardena gives up it has to be Sangakara who would be sort of brought into it and um, you're spot on even now not being the captain you could see that Jayawardena gets so involved in the cricket helps uh, every player and it's, it's the mutual respect that's getting them going which is very healthy for Sri Lanka cricket. I mean, it's always a problem when you have conflicts and factions. Which is thankfully not the case when it comes to Sri Lanka cricket. Such a healthy dressing room. And uh, the dressing room has always remained above board. No factions in the dressing room. No politics. And that's quite amazing for a unit that uh, still has... Uh, at least, uh, if not one, two ex-captains. Sanat Jessuri obviously led uh, the team. And now you've got uh, Mahela Jayawardene. But I think uh, the way that this team gels as a unit, this speaks volume of how well they're interconnected. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. The outfield is fast. And it might just be the Freddy does. That was a cracking shot by Sangakara. Short and outside the off step, just latched on. It had everything in place. He looked marvelously well in the last test match. He's made a few adjustments in his batting. That front shoulder is not a lot more relaxed. And he's relaxed uh, as a batsman also. Look at this drive. On the up, it was a difficult shot to execute and construct. The ball was getting big on him and how well he adjusted to the bounce and stroked it away through the offside. He'll get a single off the last ball. So 62 for two. 50 no was completed. That's put away nicely for at least a couple of runs, if not more. Fawad Alam is trying to stop the ball. He does really well. Three runs taken. The umpires will have another look at it. That well, was uh, a very fine effort. Committed right till the end then he recovers because he sees Mohammed Yusuf throwing the ball back at him I think he's, he's done a reasonably good job here the only problem I see here with that uh, with that pickup is whether he was inside the line or outside the line I think he's done well he's gone for the appeal once again excitable Yunus Khan Leg by is considered in the process. Well, Yunis Khan was pretty confident in that shout. Jawadana was looking to turn it away on the onside. Well, well, it was clearly going down the leg side, so no question. Jawadana was trying to work it with the movement, so... Asuka De Silva, one of the top umpires in the world, Sri Lankan umpire in the elite panel. In the air in the gap 
one's the result. Excitement from uh, the visitors. Medium-sized buildings. That's the best they've done so far, Sri Lanka. Full toss. She'll put that away and does. That's the problem when you've got a bit of a part-time in a one-day game. You can bowl the odd loose delivery. It's the first ball of the over is could be a good over for Sri Lanka. Very well done by Sangakara. He hit it uh, right through those two fielders. He's one at uh, short midway, at low full toss. Sometimes that um, can be difficult to put low full tosses away into gaps, but he did it extremely well. Short and wide this time. There is a sweeper. Just the one. So five off two. So this could well be the, uh, the best over. Over the top, good shot, very good shot indeed. One bounce four. So this is a bit of a launch over now. So far, it is the best over the innings, and they've still got two balls remaining. Yes, the Sri Lankans uh, definitely feel they can make use of Yunus Khan's overs when he does bowl, and Mahila Jayavodhan launched into that. The foot down the pitch. A movement uh, for Yunus Khan, so he can take the liberty. Took that from just outside off stump and uh, hit it over long on. Cries of catch it and simple. Jaheda Fridi has uh, picked up the catch. So Dasmal has picked up the wicket. That is a very big wicket. Now you'll notice that that slowed considerably through the air. It was a slower delivery, but it certainly didn't come off the deck. It just sort of stopped, which is why Sengakara got in a tangle. Yet again, that's the difficulty. That one did misbehave, did stop. And uh, Sangakara just trying to guide it. It was late, got an edge, it was not in the middle of the bat. And a simple catch, so the captain has to go. He's made 36, and Sri Lanka now 93 for three. Let's run it off to one minute 30 with a single off uh, the last ball, so three off the over. Good speed from Afridi. And a good over. 97 for three. It's nice and fine. They'll pick up a couple. Brings up the 100, by the way. 100 for three. Ah! Up they go. And up goes the finger as well. Faint little tickle. He didn't stick around at all there. He's on his way, so that's another wicket. And that was because of pressure built up by Pakistan. 13 runs only off the last five overs. That's good stuff from Pakistan. Yes, it's even more difficult off the spinners. The paceman had a grip on the batsman, but here, Kapu Gedera playing a loose drive. And uh, Afridi is pleased that he's got the outside edge. So Pakistan have picked up another wicket. Kapukedra goes for eight, and Sri Lanka now 106 for four. Just a bit of a half shout that time. Wicket off the first ball. Trying his luck with the second. Shake of the head from uh, Ahsoka de Silva. Afridi bowled a good e economical over first up. Now he started off with a wicket in the first ball. The next one uh, landing the batsman on the pads. That would have got drifted down leg side. But he's bowled very straight. He's bowled wicket to wicket, if at all, just outside off stump. That he can afford to do. He's still rushing. It's a bit like double jeopardy at the moment. You get a wicket and you come in and uh, you don't get anything loose you can put away because there's two men back there. I'm going to try and find your feet. Here's another look at... Uh, it's a very good catch too. It's uh, quite a good piece of willow on that. Yes, the hands were in the right position. That's important for a keeper standing up to a spinner. I've seen that uh, celebration a few times before recently. Up goes the finger. Who knows, one day he might make a, uh, a tidy umpire. It's another terrific over. This is a really good string of overs from Pakistan. Just two runs coming from it. A wicket as well. 27 gone, 108 for four. Well, Pakistan have been heavily depending on these two spinners uh, 
It's been more than a year, I would say. So these two spinners are really doing extremely good job in this 2020 World Cup and before that even. Pakistan last played uh, in Dubai was against uh, the Australians and both these spinners, especially this man Shahid Afridi, was just unplayable. I think Afridi has uh, really been a very important part of this Pakistan uh, cog, you know, and uh, they have, he, he's, he's sort of, you know, played so hard in the one day version. It's a shame that somebody with so much of talent, who is, even has a test century, I believe, four test centuries, hasn't really taken it to the test level because he's, 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 he's a type of player that could uh, really dominate and destroy bowling. And with his leg spin option, I think he could have brought in a lot of balance had he really been consistent. Well, it's been, uh, it's been the temperament, I think, which really has uh, caused him, cost him a place in the, in the test side. When he first came in, he played a few test matches. He got uh, four... He's got four ODI hundred and five in test matches. So he was not bad. He was, he, you know, it's the bowling where he struggled, I believe. And the over one fourteen four. Samaravira back in the one day side after a lapse of almost three and a half years. Has played fine. At least a couple of runs here. In fact, might go all the way. It's gone down to the boundary. This outfield is very fast. It's 120 for four. And Samaravira has uh, hit it down the throat of the man at mid on. So Sri Lanka have lost their fifth wicket. Uh, Rasak uh, was bowling it a little bit short and possibly maybe Samaravira didn't have enough pace in that ball to play that shot and in the end a fairly simple soft dismissal Sri Lanka lose their fifth because that's a big blow and this is a critical stage of the innings there was only one fielder there to just get and uh, went straight into the hands of the captain Mahan, Yunus Khan big wicket didn't really come onto the bat I'm sure and uh, that uh, bring, brings another wicket for Pakistan. Samravira gone for 10. Sri Lanka 125 for 5. So 125 for 5. Angelo Matthews is a new batsman. That's because Samravira was dismissed. Uh, caught at mid on. Short delivery. Looking to pull and fairly easy catch in the end. Angelo Matthews. Young man of 22 having so much on his shoulders now. We'll have to bat well. And that was a good start from Rasak, very nearly squared him up. Maybe the low bounce didn't carry the ball to slip. But a good first ball from a bowling point of view. It's been a very good spell by Abdul Razak. Uh, this is his eighth over and he's still hitting the deck pretty hard. Almost carried to Miss Baal Haq. Just short of him. That's why we've been talking about the, the dying ball to going to the slip or the wicket keeper. It's never easy. It's never easy for the batsman as well as for the we could keep around the slip fielders. So he'll get off the mark with that shot. They're looking for a couple here. Might get even a bit more, but they're quite happy with two. So it's end of the over. Good one for Pakistan. Sri Lanka 127 for five. Not the best of the outing for Samravira. Gone for 10. That was the last wicket fell. Abdul Razak was the man who picked up the wicket. Rasak uh, is having an excellent spell. He's bowled the right areas, he's hit the deck hard. And uh, we were certainly talking about the development taking place in these parts of the world. Lots of school kids coming to watch cricket here. But I think Sri Lanka cricket needs to be congratulated for the efforts they're putting in in this area. And particularly on the 1st of August, Waka, in case you didn't know, 65 schools in the north and the east Central province and also the Uwa province has been picked. And this could be trouble. This is definitely trouble. Asokandi Silva will go upstairs. 
But the thing is, did Kamran Akmal collect it cleanly? Was it a direct hit? Didn't look like a direct hit. Was Kamran Akmal able to collect it and take the bills off? Let's look at it. It seemed like that uh, he's lost the ball before hitting the stumps because uh, it was never two for sure. Yunus Khan slide and just threw the ball very, very quickly. Oh, 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 oh. We'll probably would like to see it again once more because of the time. I think it might be just gone because uh, the ball was in the hands when he hit the, hit the stumps, when he breaks the spot stumps. There you go. I think it's out. Ooh. It's a very, very difficult one for the third umpire because the ball is maybe touching a couple of fingers at the time when he broke the film because the hand is right in front of the ball. So not sure, not sure. Out. Maybe the right verdict, maybe the right verdict. Uh, it's a big wicket, huge wicket. It was never two there, and uh, this might be a big disaster for the Sri Lankans. The six wicket gone. Mahila Jayavardhana was the man who's gone. He's 131 for six. Could have been another tight one. Could be out, could be a very, very close one. Might be a little bit of a bat involved in that. Because that one just was a flipper. And uh, Angela Matthews just showing that he might have just got a bit of an inside edge on it. I thought I heard two sounds. Yes, it was a definite uh, inside edge. So that was a good decision in the end. But certainly deceived by the quicker one, the flipper from Afridi. Sri Lanka very very careful at this stage can't afford to lose uh, wickets as he tucked away for a single well, they get two right in the middle of the ground comfortable two runs It's turned out to be a lovely morning and now beginning to uh, be sunny once again. Singles really will not hurt Pakistan a great deal. The boundaries have dried up. Quite amazing. This is known as a dry zone but still very green. So it's been very comfortable for the players. Uh, the sun's gone in time and again. There's been a breeze across the grounds. So it has been comfortable. It's not that humid. Humidity is much less. He's become such a confident bowler, Shahid Afridi. Two runs taken. And uh, that will obviously not go down well with Afridi, who's trying extremely hard to give his best. Umar Gul needs to do his bit in the field. Look at this. In a dry area, to have uh, that kind of response from nature is absolutely astonishing. Angelo Matthews, uh, one of the promising players uh, in the Sri Lankan side. Young player who's done well in the fine innings in that uh, test match. In... Uh, Colombo at the SSC. One area he's got to work on is to run that first one hard, get across quickly, look for the second. And play leg spin with a little bit of more flair and confidence. Against Canary in the second innings of that last test match, he grew in stature, was looking extremely confident. But I guess Afridi is not reading him entirely. And that is understandable. Afridi is so difficult to pick straight away. There are subtle variations. He can bowl a good wrong one. He's quicker through the air at times. So many varieties to handle as a batsman. Plus the fact that six wickets have gone down. So this pair sensibly being ultra cautious. 144 for six. played fine runs for Matthews 
He looked to come back for the second. He's got to be careful. Well, Fawad Alam lets himself down. He prides on being a very good fielder. He's, a, he's an athletic fielder, but on this occasion, lost the plot. Yes, definitely a rare occasion, and the ball was traveling very slowly. Just use one hand. Use both when you have two hands. You've been blessed with two. That's what they say. No is the call. Mid-wicket can always be dicey for uh, the runner and the caller because it's anybody's call in that area. Both can call and you've got to be aware of the uh, athleticism of Yunus Khan. He's so good anywhere. Full credit to the two spinners, Afridi and now Ajmal. Ajmal bowled a spell earlier. They're the ones who've tightened the screws on the Sri Lankan batsmen. Made them panic in the middle. Lap sweep will earn him one. Pakistan have got things under control in check. That was the first boundary in last eight overs, so boundaries certainly have dried up. <laughs> Nothing can drive the laughter, though. Seem to be enjoying themselves. Yeah, some of the areas are covered on this ground, others open stands. And, uh, that's one of the covered areas. Single of the last ball. It's 150, exactly 150 now for six. Shaka perhaps playing uh, their best batting lineup from the squad of players selected. Big shout. Was it outside the line of the off stump? The question. He tried to flick it away. It was ball at 88 kilometers per hour. A little quicker from uh, Sayyid Ajmal. Ball from closer of the stumps. And uh, well, batsman looking to go across the line. This really was a very fine shout. Must have been a close thing. And that uh, decision would have been discussed in the mind by the umpire many times over in that split second he had to decide whether the impact was outside the stumps or whether the ball was the ball spinning back enough to hit the stumps it did not bounce and the batsman was looking to go across the line oh brilliantly done he was threatening to come down the track and look at that response from umar gul it was quick and almost got rid of Matthews in his stride. Yes, he's taken two steps down the track, then had to go underneath that. Very good bowling from Umagul. Yes, I reckon, uh, Ramiz, that your second option must be in the minds of the Sri Lankans. Wait for the last five and then take it, have a go at that time. Right now, try and go up to the 45th. Get us Get whatever they can in this time. It wasn't a full-blooded pull shot, but nevertheless, we'll give him one. Gone for the appeal. Not out is the call. Seven overs remain. 160 for six. Shot. Nicely played. Beautiful shot. In fact, that's gone for four. That is a lovely stroke. Well, Nuan Kulasekara, I maintain, is a very good enough, I mean, I would say good enough batsman. Nuan Kulasekara, good technique and uh, likes to hit through the line as he just shown here. Just down the track. Lovely use of the feet and to the pitch of the ball and perfect uh, control and balance. It's time after this one ball in this over to take that batting power play. That's my call. Partnership now 38. If they don't take it now, they've got to take it for the last five. Into the over, 169 for six. 
Cries of catch and has virtually gone straight up in there and it should be taken easily. Rizox underneath it. Oh, goodness me. The butterflies would not have been flying a formation there. He put one down early today. Pretty similar, but he snaffled that one. Well, this just confirms that batting in power players also need a certain amount of uh, commitment and also knowledge. You just can't be hitting the ball around. Kulasek are looking to go over the top. And yes, Abdul Rasak did drop a catch earlier on, but this time he had it well covered. The blue skies in the background, also a bit of white cloud. Wouldn't have been easy. So in the end, down on knees as he took it. So. Nuan Kulasekar is gone. It's 173 for seven. He's gone for 16. Caught Brasak of Amir. Short ball. And he's got it away. <laughs> he's got it away. You won't see that in too many coaching manuals, but it's effective. Well, that's a morally special for you. That's the way he plays his cricket. He doesn't, uh, well, he doesn't want to hang around there. If it's there, he's going to throw his bat. Where it goes and how it comes doesn't matter as long as it comes. <laughs> he manages to just uh, swish it or whatever you like to call it. Top edge, overshot, fine leg, useful runs. That's what matters uh, for Sri Lanka at this stage, and isn't he happy? I mean, goes down the track and this usual hitting the glove. This be Yorker. Oh, he hit that one as well. He loves it. Does my time really do it? He's not even going to run for this. He's just standing mid pitch. Has it gone all the way for six? It has been signaled six. Goodness me, what a great blow. Ten off, two balls from early. Amazing shot. I mean, I think he was ready for the Yorker, ready for the ball that was pitched up. He knew what was coming. And just great cricket shot. Didn't have much movement of the feet, but certainly the bat swung enough. And all the way, that's gone for six. Well, it's interesting to see whether it went all the way. And it's been signaled. That's another look. It bounced once. Yeah, it's a, it's a four. It's going to make too much difference right now. It's the same batsman's on strike. Slow ball. Quite that away for another boundary. He's having a ball out there, Matai Murali Duran. Welcome back. Well, he's making batting look easy in his own style, isn't it? It's into the over. 191 for seven. That's away too. Terrific stuff. Goodness me, this batting power play is uh, proving very, very beneficial for the home team. Well, I get the feeling that Muradharan has got uh, Angelo Matthews activated. So Matthews uh, pouncing on that delivery short and outside the off stump. Too good. I mean, too good a player, my uh, Angelo Matthews, to miss out on such a gift. But uh, yes, the batting power play has certainly propelled Sri Lanka to a better rate of scoring. 19 runs of the last five deliveries. He wants two. Murley scampering down. He's touched down. He's back. I think direct hit might have been interesting, but he's safe as it is. Six deliveries, 21 runs. The Pakistan players are starting to get a little bit agitated now. They're three runs away at the moment from 200. You really have to put your bat to just behind the line, not by about two foot. That would have been interesting had it been tight at his end. Now this is interesting because Muridharan likes the ball to come out to him, he uses the pace of the ball. A spinner could be a completely different ball game. Well, he's not looking for big boundaries, he's quite happy with the single. And I'll try and describe that shot to you. Okay, I'll give up. You know, we've got a dill scoop now, with Dilshan playing uh, his kind of scoop shot. Now, I don't know what that is. Maybe a half pull? Down the track, over the top, four more. Brilliant stuff. This time it's Matthews. Good cricket of this man. 200 on the board as well. And we reckon that that's a key figure, getting 200 up there. Should be a very good game from here, unless, of course, they launch dramatically from this position. Sri Lankans have unearthed a real gem here in Angelo Matthews. He's been just growing in confidence and stature. And this just confirms the way he's been batting. And it's a, such a mature performance by this young man. Gets a single off the last ball. 13 runs of the over, 204 for seven. Juggle and court. Good catch. Mohamed Amir has taken the catch on about the fifth juggle in the end. 
So that is uh, the end of Matthews. He now departs. That's a crucial wicket for Pakistan. Angelo Matthews is a big wicket because he was the established player. And he was playing some good cricket shots. And he could have really carried on and got the Sri Lankan score to good proportions. But uh, he was certainly deceived by the lack of pace off the pitch. And appeared to have played a little bit too early. Juggling act. But a good catch in the end. Mohamed Amir gets the wicket. Angelo Matthews, the batsman, dismissed. Sri Lanka now 204 for 8. Matthews goes for 43. Just flicked it away. Has he got it over the field? This will be a remarkable catch if it's taken. It's not. And Matai will come back for two. Never easy to catch balls that are falling before you in front of your shoulder running back. And uh, Omar Yusuf made a good effort running back. It was hit high. For a moment I thought that it was well connected, but that's not easy. It's never easy, the ball falling over your shoulder. It's just going away from him, never got his hands to it. Really back on strike. Another invention. Up they go. Steve Davis is uh, not out. I would imagine the Matai... <laughs> there you go, Matai really doing. It's just uh, a flick of the hand saying he should just put that away for another six. I got a clever change of pace uh, for Mohamed Amir. That was held back, pulled a little bit slower. There's no one on the offside fence. I just think he might try and go that way, and he does. Four runs. Beautifully played. Just a little swish from Matai. Well, I would say it would make an established batsman proud that cover drive he picked the gap he timed it so perfectly that was a quicker ball and it just went like a rocket look at it between cover and point just screamed along the ground unusual leg spin of bowling and no one sweeping on the offside straight down past the ball this time and this is going to be a tight one he's going at a stride rate only of about 240 at the moment two more Second highest score now goes to 25. It's giving us off room and it goes again. Terrific stuff. Outstanding cricket from a time earlier. And he normally say that when he's got the ball in his hand, but not today. Well, 51 runs in the power play so far, and uh, this is a good performance. And who would have expected Mutaya Mulligan? what he's doing now look at that shot just drawing away and cutting it perfectly he's on 29 he will know his high scores 33 oh what's that one that might be it another boundary oh no but he retains the strike moves now to 31 12 off this over so far his teammates are loving it his eyes are popping out of his head great entertainment 31 of 13 balls it's phenomenal just fantastic entertainment here. He's gone again offside. Has he got it through? No, he hasn't. But he'll be happy because he's retained the strike for the last over. 13 runs off the over. 54 runs in the power play. Brilliant stuff from Sri Lanka. 223 for eight. Here we go. This is the start of the last over. It's a youngster who's bowling it now. He's been terrific so far. Nine overs, two for 36. Beautiful bowl. Terrific delivery, it's exactly where you got a ball. He's done it, disturbed the furniture. And Sri Lanka have now lost their ninth. However, an outstanding knock from a time early Duran. I think he's done his job, Murli Duran. He was sent in to do that, used the power play. And in a matter of few balls, he's transformed the game completely. It's given a completely different complexion. That was a good Yorker, hit the base of the stump. So just one run short of his high score, Mutaya Murli Duran. Sri Lanka 223 for 9, he's bowled by Amir, just look at it, off just 15 balls for 32. Had a dip of that. Has it gone for 4? Yes it has. There's another boundary, these boundaries, goodness me, there's been plenty of boundaries right at the end of this innings. Big smile from Tushara that time. This is what I mean and this is what I said about Tushara, he can put back to ball and very effectively. And he's a clean hitter of the ball and hits the ball very hard. And when they hit, they stay hit. And like that one, went through square leg, not where he intended it, but still had enough meat. It's a powerful striker. All these runs now are transferring enormous pressure onto the top order of the Pakistan batting lineup. They know it's not going to be easy with the new ball. Yorker again, good start from uh, the 17-year-old. 
And also Hazia, I'm sure the fact that uh, batting uh, not being easy in uh, Dambul uh, must be working in the minds of the Pakistan batsmen because they would have looked at statistics, they would have looked at the scores. So obviously, when they know that it's out of their zone and out uh, above uh, the general scoring and statistics, it could create a little bit more pressure. I have no doubt, we saw some team chats in the Pakistan players, I have no doubt that 40 minutes ago they were saying, right, let's keep them to under 200. That's our target, under 200. Almost 30 above that now. Whipped away leg side, checked it over. Couple runs he wants. Oh, direct hit, I think might have been very interesting. Oh, and there's perhaps a little bit of injury there for Mohammed Yusuf. It's all going a little bit pear shaped out there for Yunus Khan right now. One more left in this innings. Pakistan must be disappointed. 231 was certainly much more than what they were wanting to give Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka didn't look like getting 200. They must be very disappointed, uh, Hazy. Listen to me very carefully, Rashan. Don't count them out. They've got their A game. They're an unbelievable team. Last ball. And a good one. Just the one, the end result. It's a very good over to finish uh, proceedings from Mohamed Amir. He finishes with three for 45, so that's outstanding stuff from him. And 50 overs have been bowled, 232 for nine. It's around about 30 more than we thought it would be, but uh, brilliant stuff from Sri Lanka. A time early during, of course, in the end with his little cameo, his little flutter, has really propelled this innings. And now Sri Lanka can be very pleased, and the pressure's been transferred to Pakistan. Well, no doubt, I think Sri Lanka have given themselves a real chance, but, well, we can't uh, discount Pakistan. They have an excellent betting side, a lot of experience, and 233 is not out of their grasp at all. But I, what I, all what I've said was, from 190 to get to 230, that must be a disappointing factor for Pakistan, because they would have never sort of bargained for this kind of ending when they started and had Sri Lanka in trouble, six wickets down, uh, and not for many. I always like to think also, Rashan, about momentum going to breaks. Test matches, that's important. Need 233 runs to win at 4.66. Three runs to win at 4.66 runs per over. There have been 12 games played here previously, and only two teams have chased down that total successfully. So it's going to be a bit of a tough call for Pakistan. And doesn't that look nice? This is next to the ground here in uh, Dambulla. Very pleasant. It's a warm day here. Always is in Sri Lanka this time of the year. Ah, that gives you a bit of a reference point. Nice little ground, this one. Not that little, I should say. It's uh, the biggest ground in Sri Lanka. And it's going to be interesting to see how things start for Pakistan. It was sedate for Sri Lanka. I guess Pakistan are going to be reasonably careful, but of course, at one stage, they're going to have to uh, look to step on the gas. They can't get behind that run rate. Akmal opening the batting. Exactly 100 matches old now, Kamran Akmal. Can bat a bit. Shoaib Malik uh, can consider himself as a bit of a floater. He can bat anywhere. Today's job is to open the innings for Pakistan and get a good partnership rolling. OK, set to go. Kula Saker is the man that's going to be opening the bowling. Two slips he's got. It'll seem around a bit. Big swing, but I think it's going too far. There might have been a bit of Willow involved as well. Didn't really matter too much. It was going down leg. Kulasekra was uh, proving to be a difficult proposition for most of the Pakistani top order batsmen. And that ball came back sharply. And it was the, uh, was the in swinger that the batsman missed. Tell you what, Ramiz, it's quite interesting watching Kulasekra bowl. There's not too many out and out swing bowlers these days in international cricket. Some guys swerve it a bit. Good shot, brilliant shot, terrific way to start an in innings. Hasn't moved as well. That's a nice way to celebrate his 100th game. Powerful drive to the offside. It was a half volley, but treated beautifully. Met the fate that it deserved. Look at that front foot stride, beautifully crafted drive by Kamran Agmal. Is such a super player when it comes to offside play. Neither of these two opening batsmen for Pakistan mess around. They like playing their strokes. He's got that away beautifully. That's a fine stroke. He's looking to attack and a bit of a severe counter punch from him. 
after almost getting out and this is what he had this is what he had to tell the bowler give me width and the response will be like this beautifully crafted cut shot of the back foot Ramiz, I know that he's playing his natural game here and likes to score runs, but I just wonder if he's been given just a little bit of a license, a bit of a dip at the start. Good shot, over the top of cover this time, advancing down the track and just slapping it for a boundary. The idea is not to let him settle down. We saw a punishing drive from Kamran Akmal in the last over, and this time Shweb Malik making good use of the feet and spanking it over cover for a four oh that's gone even further it's got a bit of an inside neck I think and running away for four that's a bit of a lucky boundary but he'll take it this pair has been extremely lucky both have been uh, given chances not clear ones, but uh, bowlers have come close of picking them up. Oh, inside edge, otherwise it could have uh, rattled the middle stump. What a cracking drive. This really was uh, massively done by Kamran Akmal. Every now and then he produces a beauty. It's the second one we've seen of those. Another half volley of middle, if you've still got to put it away. Everything is right about this stroke. He found the gap, good weight transfer. And he knew exactly where he was putting it. Very, very good shot. It can be demoralizing to a bowler when you uh, treat a delivery with uh, such disdain. This time, a lot more confident with his footwork. Nice long stretch. He's kept that out as well. And good running. To finish the over, so that's a very good over. Ten runs from it. Five overs gone now. Run rate scored 25 for no loss. Squeezed, very fine indeed. Bit of fancy footwork from uh, Matai Marudurin. Good work, the crowd enjoyed that. Just a couple of runs. He's getting on a bit, but uh, still, you can't repress the energy. He's uh, ebullient in nature, still very fit. He's 37 years old, and look at him go. Great commitment. Got him, bowled him, beautiful. Outstanding delivery. That is just a great setup. A couple of straight deliveries, if anything, going away. And then, then the end swinger. Outstanding stuff from Kulasegra. They've lost their first Pakistan. Unfortunately, this was on the cards because Shweb Malik was completely at sea against Kulusekra. This was marvelously done. Hoodwinked him completely. He was waiting for the in-dipper. It shaped the other way, knocked the off stump. And so success at last for Kulusekra and Sri Lanka. Missed it completely. And so his uneasy stay at the crease comes to an end. He goes early. Tried hard, nevertheless, but he's gone for nine. Pakistan, 29 for one. Probably look for two as he stopped it. Yes, he just stopped it, but then it's trickled away. So it is a boundary. Glanced fine, and he picks up four. Yeah, there was a very teasing one. Good effort there by Kulusekra, but just couldn't manage to just uh, keep it inside. It was traveling quite fast. It's the back heel of the left foot which really hit him at the last second. He's really pushed it back onto the skirtings. Four more to Pakistan. Oh, another one. Similar delivery, but uh, got the edge. Two more. The shutter steps off in grand style. Knocks back the stumps. And that's another wicket for the Sri Lankan second time that the ball has hit the stumps this afternoon and they are pretty pleased with it. Doesn't matter how good you're playing uh, on this surface, you're never in. That really shows uh, from this delivery. This was a beautiful delivery, but not a delivery to get out. 
was stuck in the crease. Kamran Nakmal had nowhere to go. Beautiful. Probably was expecting the ball to maybe go away from him. Didn't really do much. He just stayed, hit the wicket and stayed in the same line. Kamran Nakmal goes for 20. He's 41 for two. Very nicely played off the hips. He runs here. It's gone. Yes. Mohamed Yusuf off the mark with the boundary. 45 for two. Brings uh, Murli Dharan. And three uh, runs being taken. He's definitely improved as a batsman uh, in the recent times, Shahid Khan Afridi. Edged it, edged it. I heard something. Of course there is an edge. Muhammad Yusuf was reluctant. He wasn't sure if he should go for it or not. A definite edge there. That's a big blow for Pakistan. Five superb deliveries uh, from uh, Kula Sekra. Finishes up getting the prize scalp of Mohamed Yusuf, tempting him wide outside the off stump. Held its own, definitely there was a sound, kept low, and Sangakara completes the catch for Sri Lanka. Pakistan have lost their third wicket. The Sri Lankans are jubilant. Kula Sekra has every reason to celebrate. That's the end of uh, Mohamed Yusuf. In Pakistan now 48 for three. Drifts down leg side, nicely played off the pads by Afridi. Get a couple, and that brings the 50. That's nicely played. They'll be looking for a couple here. Murli Dharan is the fieldsman. And in the end, uh, two quite easily. That was uppish, but thankfully, Yunus Khan will earn a boundary because that went into that gap. It's 61 for three. Shahid Afridi, this is a big one. Has it gone all the way? It's gone all the way for six. That is a 250th six in one day cricket of Shahid Afridi. And that was a great shot. Brilliantly done. Afridi read it to perfection it was a slower one with a huge grunt and a huge strike from afridi was the response it was a killer blow really this is what pakistan requires at this stage bit of an afridi aggression can uh, sit them rolling once again on target <laughs> murli was keen he's asking questions Steve Davis was the umpire and he was asked some serious questions by Muthaya Mullivaran. Not a bad shout at all. Remember, this wasn't the off spinner, the Dusra. Kumar Sangakara was animated as well behind the stumps. Now that's gone. That was unnecessary. That was unnecessary. And what was Shahid Afridi trying to do? Was he kind of providing fielding practice? I've seen coaches do that, trying to give slip fielders some catching practice. That's exactly what he did. That was too wide to start with. Maybe he's watching a lot of Intakhab Alam before the game. Pakistani coach is pretty good with this shot. Not required really. He saw the length, went after it. Had it connected, he would have looked uh, pretty cheeky and neat and good. But uh, when uh, such a shot doesn't come off, then it makes you look... Uh, a little silly, I'm afraid to say. Shahid Afridi gone for 27. He tried hard. Pakistan in deeper trouble now. 73 for four. Just be sensible like that. But Yunus needed an Afridi at the other end because uh, that would have allowed him to be himself. Now I'll have to maneuver the game at a certain pace. All the pressure of uh, big shots was being taken by Shahid Afridi. His presence meant a great deal to Pakistan's future. Ah, 
bit of bat, I think. 77 for Paul. Now this is in there. It's going to be caught. It is caught on the boundary. Yunis Khan is the batsman dismissed. He was looking to go over the top. There was a man placed specifically, possibly for that shot. And Angelo Matthews is the fieldsman out on the boundary. Pakistan have lost their captain. Bit of a brain drain period. I think he followed the line of the ball, went for the cut shot. He plays that shot really well. Couldn't control it because he tried to hit it a little too hard. Nicely taken in the deep. Such an important catch. And Tushara once again has provided Sri Lanka with reasons to smile. He rushes off the field, Yunus Khan, after uh, batting briefly for 12, Pakistan 78 for 5. A big appeal. Tushara is very confident. It's the end of the over. Wants Ashoka De Silva to be a patriotic umpire, I guess, putting a lot of pressure on him. 78 for 5. Pakistani bowlers have disappointed throughout this test series Mike if you look at it they've been they've been doing okay I mean nothing extraordinary but uh, they've done well in this match this uh, red line is just dipping down which is a dangerous sign for Pakistan it's the batting who's been a big concern he hit the bat I think he hit the bat first might have just clipped the pad but definitely hit the bat first that's the end of the over 83 for 5 played sweeper out there just on square looking for two here that's what they need to try and do now turn a couple of those ones into twos it's good running can't just allow this run rate required to climb leading edge and gone just a matter of time, really, before Matai Miradoum is going to pick up a stick. He's got one now. He's almost finished his six over, but he's kept things very tight indeed. It was a strangle. Simple as that, a strangle. And Pakistan have lost another. Being extra careful, Miss Paul Huck. That was a dosra for sure. From round the wicket and closed the face of the bat way too early. I was looking to just nudge it down to maybe square leg for one. Being extra careful. That's what I can think of. Another one in pocket for Mutai Mulitharan. He's got quite a few now. Miss Bhagwan for nine. It's 95 for six. Nicely played off the back foot. He's mentally pretty strong for a young man, Fawad Alam. May not uh, have an ideal technique to last the distance, but uh, surely is tailored his batting according to his skill factor and because he's uh, such a determined individual that you expect him to uh, do his best out there every time he plays for Pakistan plays with a lot of passion got 85 in the last one day game that Pakistan played in that uh, practice match they had at Kurunegla That's why he's been chosen by Yunus Khan. Yunus Khan is looking for uh, some fighters in his team. Young fighters, he certainly fills the bill. Yes, of course, today it's a tough ask for him and uh, for his partner, also the other batsman to come. Nicely played drive for one. 100 comes up for Pakistan, 27 overs bowled, 6 wickets down, 100 on the board. He expects Sri Lankans to dive and stop the ball. That is one great way to put pressure on a youngster. Chilan Samrawira hasn't been in the action very much. Right in front of Asoka de Silva. Down 
the leg side. Bit of lift, but the direction was wavered from Angelo Matthews. No pressure really on uh, Matthews at this stage. It's Pakistan 109 for six. So gives him the chance, the opportunity to settle in, to work on his line and length. He's done well as a batsman. Needs to get up there as a bowler as well. Smashed hard, mid off. Misfield it. There was a little bit of hope for uh, Sri Lanka there because Fahad Alam was on his back foot as he drove that one. Kulusekra, had he picked it up cleanly, would have made things very interesting. This was undecided as the ball got close to him whether to pick it with one hand or two hands. In the end, he chucked one hand out and uh, couldn't get it in there. He's keen to try and get the throw in. Of course, the first thing, pick the ball up before you throw. but safe Pakistan I guess caught in a tough position or situation today they had to carve out a balance between being uh, natural out there and being situational we know Ms. Balhak and Yunus Khan are crafty operators out there but I think they they overread the situation and got bogged down with it and it's been a similar story so far for Abdul Razak also. He's reading the situation and not being himself. I don't know whether it works in favor of Pakistan or not. But this is for Adalam's game, so he'll have to continue playing at this pace. But Razak needs to be himself. He likes to hit the ball straight. And a bit of a counter-attack here can derail the Sri Lankan aggression and hold on the game. Run rate up to six now for the first time in the Pakistan innings. Because although they lost a couple of early wickets, they kept going at around uh, 4, 4.5. Kept it to that, but now it's gone up to six. Good start to the Sri Lankan bowlers through Tushara and Kula Sekra. Opposite when it came to the batting, the players lower down the order contributed for Sri Lanka. Talking of that, uh, Sri Lanka were 169 for six after 44 overs before the power play over started. That's where the game began to change and how much it has changed in the last uh, couple of hours, last three hours maybe. Six overs uh, got them 63 and now Pakistan down at 112 for six. Another delivery well left by Abdul Razak. 112 for six. 114 for six then Pakistan. Razak with a cut shot, finds the gap. Lovely piece of timing. Hit the turf hard and bounced it over the field at point. Did like that one. The ball coming onto the bat with outside the off stump. And uh, Abdul Razak enjoyed that. Boundary after quite a while. So that's getting a nice little run here as well. Just uh, started his fifth over. Very tight, none for ten. And that run rate is uh, climbing all the time. It's been a little bit too sedate for my liking. Climbing all the time right now. I can only think they're just trying to uh, make sure the result feels nice and comfortable before he launches because that's what he normally does he normally gets to a stage where he steps on the gas and puts a couple over the ropes i don't think uh, forward alarm will be doing too much different from that and i guess that's uh, their only chance i suppose just to get up to his up on strike as often as possible Rami's Raj had quite correctly said in the previous commentary stint, he likes the seamers coming on. He doesn't really fancy the spinners. You can see him getting a bit agitated already. And just starting to look around a little bit. He's uh, got one big scoring here, and there is a gap there at Cow Corner. 
course, has got to be uh, delivered in that area to uh, to be effective. Well, there's a version of Cow Corner. There's a man at uh, Deep McWick and also a man at Long On. So in between those two. So that's a tight over, two from it. 123 for six. That's a good shot. Having said that, he's got it in the middle of the bat. It's gone down to the boundary. They need a few shots like that and also need to rotate the strike, need the single. First boundary and 53 balls. Goes to 25 now, Alam. That might be the spark. Maybe they can build off that a little bit. They know they need boundaries. Simple as that. Still balls left in this over. Just maybe a chance to uh, get a bit of a move on here. And of course, we just need to state that uh, these guys, for them to get up, and there's a long way to go. They have to go very close, this partnership. Cannot rely on the rest of the guys. More runs now. That's going to be a bit of a test. No, it's not. The old man decides to just bail out. Should be calling him an old man, I suppose. He's uh, had a bit of a bad knee. He's not that old. You take offense, eh? He's not old. He's playing one day and test cricket. He's still good, still good enough to do that. We saw him batting. 35 or 15 balls. Outstanding. He's definitely gone. That's what you were talking about. Now, this batting power play becomes meaningless because the last of the recognized batsmen for the alarm is gone. So, Pakistan falls back again. Now, it's not going to be easy to catch up again on that 7.4. Yeah, it's a setback. It's a big setback. They were just starting to build. They were looking forward to that batting power play. Not coming. Just a faint little tipple here. And Kumar Sankara does the rest. Good catch, actually, in the end. There was quite a deflection looking on the replay. And Sanaf is uh, pretty happy with that. He's picked up his first for the game. We've seen that smile a few times before. And he's disappointed as uh, forward alarm. He goes for 31. 134 for 7. The spinners have been a problem for Pakistan. They haven't been able to dominate them. They've liked the ball to come onto the bat. They could free their arms, but with the spin, they need to make their own uh, pace. At that time, should be very close. That's gone. There was no doubt about it. Razak wasn't uh, really convincing against Muttaya Murlidharan. And he was walking about on the crease. He was caught on the crease. And that was heading nowhere other than the stumps. So the eighth wicket is gone. And Sri Lanka making inroads into this Pakistan batting. He knew what Abdul Razak wanted to do. He knew that he was looking to uh, smack him over the top. Anything that was sort of coming through a little bit quicker, he was going to go for it. Have a look at this flight from early. It'll pitch in the zone and just straight and nicely. Not a difficult call, that, for umpire Steve Davis. And there's the double-jointed appeal. Up goes the finger. And the end of Abdur Razak, who uh, played a handy knock. 17, 35 balls. That's uncharacteristic for him. 134 for eight. And this is another good one. Will it go all the way? Uh, it's stopped just inside the boundary. The umpire oh, no, no. might want to take a look at that. That's Angelo Matthews, but he slotted it from outside the off stump down to deep mid because I'm sure the umpire would want to take a look at it. Uh, and uh, this is how it looked. I really like his commitment. Since the moment he walked onto the park for Sri Lanka in the test matches in Gore, you could see that he meant business. Very determined. Let's have a look and see how close it went. I think he's okay. We'll have to wait and see what the judgment is, but I think it's fine. Really good commitment. Tries all the time. He'd be one of those guys, I think, that uh, to be a delight to have in your team. All good, they say. End of the over, 138 for eight. That's in the air. There are cries of catcher, but it's going to go safe, and it's going to go, I think, for a boundary. It is. And Matai Muraliduran is not very happy with that. He's a perfectionist. 150 up now for Pakistan. They've lost eight, and 40 overs are gone. That's in the air. Should clear the boundary. 
one bounce uh, onto the boundary. That's the 14th boundary of the Pakistani innings. Good strike. Hitting uh, against the spin. Picked it up from about uh, leg stump, maybe middle end leg stump. Bowled that through quickly. And Amir uh, did well. Not only to strike it, but to hit it into the gap. Very good strike. Goes again, uh, this time he doesn't time it, it's in the air. Fielders going underneath it. Sangakara, Sangakara, no. And looked like he got it, but he couldn't. 167 for 8 after 42. That's nicely struck. I don't think it's going to go to the fielder. It's gone for four. Four more for Pakistan. Suddenly, things just drifting toward the Pakistanis. The certain run rate has just come down from eight. And a little bit of worry for Sangakara. Kumar Sangakara looking a little anxious. He went for the catch. Desperate try. Just got the tip of his fingers to it. Didn't get into the glove. Great effort. Now 31 runs coming in. Three overs and one ball in this batting power play, which is good for Pakistan. That was a well played. Low full toss, but he picked it up well, scooped it nicely. Slow delivery. Outside the off stump, and that gets the treatment as well. Two balls, two boundaries, and that was a good shot right in the gap. Hit powerfully. Well, we saw earlier in the first inning that the momentum just started drifting toward the Sri Lankans when they were batting. Similar sort of uh, situation is being created here. Beautiful shot right from the screw. Nicely timed. Fielders are in the circle, the entire side, offside. And this one raced to the boundary. There's the one. That's the one I was just talking about. I just mentioned this one. This is a, another very poor delivery from Nasat Melenga. I'm not really sure what he's saying at the moment. Uh, Ronald, you may be able to explain it to me, but he's definitely not happy with the performance. Yes, he's uh, saying something to the effect of what you were talking about, Waka. He's saying, if you are bowling a bounce, then you've got to have that third man back. He's saying, uh, set your field according to what you're going to bowl, which is what is um, coming now and talking to him. I think what happens uh, is that when you're bowling to the later end of the batsman, maybe when you're bowling to the bowlers, you intend to forget that uh, I have to bowl line and length or I have to bowl within stumps or enough to, to try, try to bowl those slower deliveries he just forgot because he's got such a beautiful slow delivery and hasn't really tried it yet with the third man up this is a gift and that's the third boundary of the over things started just uh, turning around a little bit and also was a noble what a valuable partnership 46 runs coming in 32 and an edge Third man, can he get to it? No, he can't. It brings up the 50 partnership. Frustration for Malinga, frustration for the captain. But it's all good suddenly for Pakistan. Well, nothing working for the Sri Lankans. But a definite, a better delivery, slower delivery. Had more chance, could have gone. Just a little unlucky, I would say. Was pushing at it, could have just scooped up in the air. Nicely just removed the bottom hand and really sliced off the back. 50 partnership between the two at the right time. Wide ball. 18 of the over so far. It's also got the crowd active. Got them in. Suddenly the game has changed. Pakistan now in with a sniff of a chance. That's it. They might just go for four. It's gone very, very quickly. And uh, that's four bowling, I would say, once again. They've got to pitch it up. 
Where is he enjoying it? He's got 23. He's kept company with Umagul. 23 off just 22. Two boundaries for him. Plays that well. Sees there's no fielder. Fine, and he gets it very, very fine. Well, he didn't learn from Malinga. Malinga was doing exactly the same stuff. Having the offside field in the circle and balling short outside the off stump. That's better. That's better. Yes, Yorker length. And there is a chance of a run out here. Goes up. Direct hit. Nigel Jai Wardner, the fielder. That's definitely bad in the air. That's what I can um, just gather or see maybe because uh, a very confident appeal. The bat is just plugged in. It's not being dragged in. That might be the problem. That's what I think is the problem here. We might have to look at once again because uh, the bat is not being dragged. And if you don't drag a bat, it might be gone. It might just be gone. Oh, oh, touch and go. Is the frame, is the frame missing or not? This will tell us a better story. I think it's gone. For me, it's out. Yes, 17-year-old uh, youngster on his debut match. He should have put the bat down earlier and then run with the bat along the ground. And let's see what's going to be. It is out. Sri Lanka have struck Mahala Jayawadana with a brilliant piece of fielding, has hit the stumps. And Amir is gone. They are delighted in the aisles. Well, they never thought they'd be in such a situation, the Sri Lankans. They thought they're going to win it nice and easy. It would be a comfortable win. What a throw that was. How many times he hit the stumps? You could see maybe all three stumps. Jubilant, he knows. When, when he hit the stumps, even... I believe that he had a fair idea that that's that's out. Mohammed Ahmed goes for 23. 196 for 9. That's it. Get him. Lasit Malinga. Bowled it right on the money. Right in the block hole. And he's disturbed Umagul stumps. That's the end of the story. Beautiful delivery. Excellent Yorker. That's what you see normally from him. He lost it in the last over, given away 20 runs, but came back beautifully. That run out made the difference. Omar Gola was uh, left alone at the crease, so he decided to go for it. Beautiful last moment, a bit of a dip in there, and crashed the middle, middle leg. Fantastic delivery. Yes, uh, the ball rolls, the bales on the ground, and it's all over. Certainly, it got close, partly because of Umagul, partly because of uh, Mohamed Amir. They put on a very good stand for Pakistan. Brought them up close enough, but uh, wasn't enough in the end. 196 was what the Pakistanis made. Sri Lanka winning by 32 runs. 233 was the target. Sri Lankans go back relieved, obviously happy, relieved that uh, having got uh, to a position where they'll seem to be going to win comfortably. In the end, uh, they had to work hard, they had to fight to win the match. Pakistan players coming out of the dressing room, shaking hands with the Sri Lankans. Yes, celebrations. Sri Lanka has won this uh, first ODI being played for the Mobitel Trophy. As uh, the sun sets here at Dambulla, starting to get a bit dark. First of all, I invite Yunus Khan to please come forward and have a few words with us. Well, Yunus, bad luck. How frustrated are you at not winning this one? 
<laughs> Actually, yes, again was uh, it was again very close, you know. Suddenly, and the one run out, and then it looked like that we win by something two wickets or something like that. But suddenly, you know, we are collapsing again, and it's, uh, and again, you know, we have a couple of uh, half chances in the fielding as well, and you know, all the time we give some runs, you know, to other team, and it, it is costing uh, in every game. Are you worried that uh, the batting is not clicking? Yeah, it's all all test series, and now again, you know, in, in, the, in the first ODI, you know, the, the the partnership was not there. Actually, it's all about partnership because uh, they, in the end, they, we have only one partnership, and then uh, suddenly we are close, you know, winning the game. So, so if we have a, a partnership from the top, so I think uh, we will be very close. Now, my pleasure to invite uh, the winning captain Kumar Sangakkara to please come forward. First, receive the winning check, US 2000, from uh, the honourable minister. Well, you were running quite smoothly until the last few was a tough call in the end, but you made it. Yeah, you know, we probably let it, uh, let it get away from us a bit at the end, maybe, uh, you know, getting a bit complacent and, and too relaxed. But uh, I think the, the guys did a great job, uh, especially chipping in with the bat. Everyone played their part. Really, especially coming in a whirlwind knock for us. Angelo Matthews, a lot of maturity. Uh, Mahala Javodana, all of them really chipped in Kulasekara again. Um, so, it, you know, this is one game that you can look back and say that it was, a, it was a proper team effort. Again, the bowlers are in top form. Everyone's bowling the right areas and um, getting us the wickets we need. Could batting be a problem on, on a track like this? Well, it was a lot better than we thought it would be. Uh, but I think uh, the key for us is, you know, we've got a great batting lineup. We've just got to trust ourselves uh, and, and, and play to our strengths. Uh, we don't have to worry about wickets and, 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 and what the bowlers are doing. As long as we play to our strengths, play to our game plan, we're always going to do well. Um, I don't think, you know, sometimes, you, you know, when batsmen are coming in, they sometimes feel it's a test. But I, I think our guys um, are, are more than capable of doing the job we need. And uh, I'm very proud to have uh, such, a, such depth in talent and ability in the dressing room. Well done today. You're brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Kumar Sangakkara, the winning captain. And now we come to the third award. In fact, the second award, which is the Man of the Match Award. And the commentators uh, were to select this Man of the Match Award winner. And our vote went to Mutaya Mullithran. Not so much for his uh, bowling, but for his batting. <laughs> US 1500 to Mutaya Mullithran. And the Mobitel Cup to go along with that cash. Well, Murli, it's seldom that we uh, talk about your batting, but uh, this really was uh, uh, marvelously done in the end by you with the bat. Is this the first award that you won as a batsman? <laughs> uh, I think uh, I think I won in um, uh, Bangladesh once and uh, yeah as well because uh, I'm taking a little bit of serious batting but uh, it's not ugly to see maybe batting because runs is important in the end. And your bowling came good also, over 500 one day wickets, another two to go with that tally. Yeah, because bowling really well, because uh, I know uh, we played only one spinner and a tremendous bowler, Mendis, so sitting out, a lot of pressure on me to justify my place, so I think I've done that, so uh, uh, it's, it's important to justify your place in the team all the time. What was going through your mind when you went out to bat? I just uh, strike the ball because uh, the other end, um, um, f first uh, Angelo was there, then uh, I thought just give the, st um, uh, rotate the stance, then I thought uh, go at the, when you get the power play, I thought uh, I can hit a few. Were you guys worried about Uma Gul's knock in the end? Yeah, definitely, because uh, he could have changed the same as I did it in Bangladesh. He could have changed it. So it was very worried because it's a six runs and over in the end. Uh, in the end, uh, Malinga bowled a uh, good two balls and uh, we, in the, we won the match. But brilliant with the bat today. Enjoy the Man of the Match award. Well done. Thank you. So there it is, the unveiling of the Mobitel Cup. I tell you one thing, the trophies have been amazing in this uh, series, the Test Series as well. That's something a little bit different. Uh, there it is. It really is quite special. And uh, Sri Lanka have got maybe a couple of fingers on that at the moment after going one up in the five-match series. Just a reminder, we have three of them in uh, Dambulla and then uh, two back in Colombia. They're day-night games. They're all day games here. Uh, here we have the two skippers as well. Yunus Khan is looking on uh, wistfully. A bit of a confident smile there from Kuma Singakara.